It's been three years since the last U.S. plane left Kabul, Afghanistan, completing the military's withdrawal from the country. A local nonprofit says its coalition has helped thousands of Afghans relocate and resettle in the U.S., but more people still need help. It's really hard to believe, and it has been three very difficult years. August 30th, 2021, the last U.S. military flight left Afghanistan, ending the longest war in American history. Very hard to see the three years passed and not much has changed and things even in a sense got worse for our friends, family, our allies who left in Afghanistan. Ramat Mokhtar is a former interpreter who worked with U.S. Marines and the Department of Defense in Afghanistan. He moved to the United States in 2017. Right now, he's a volunteer with Afghan EVAC, a local nonprofit who's working to relocate and resettle Afghans in the U.S. after the withdrawal. And one thing that also encouraged me is that when I see people come to the United States after so much paperwork and administrative process. There are more than 165,000 Afghans who are shooting their shot at the American dream. Uh, that have arrived since then. Sean Van Diver is the founder of Afghan EVAC. Van Diver says since his organization's gotten involved in resettlement efforts, there's been system-wide improvements. We have improved processing speed. We've fundamentally changed the way that we handle refugees, taking the process of evaluating refugees, of screening refugees, from two, three, sometimes five years, down to 30 to 60 days. But Van Diver says even more work is needed. Things like modernizing the special immigrant visa system, speeding up the humanitarian parole applications, and getting Congress to honor its promises to people who helped the U.S.'s mission in the country. I would love to see the more pathways for Afghan allies and Afghans whose lives are impacted as a result of our, the August 21 withdrawal. They deserve more. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.